Today we're going to show you a typical hub inspection. Check out the brakes, check out the bearings, and see if it needs to be replaced or whatnot. This is routine maintenance, and we'll show you how to do it on this one hub here. First step involved is take off a grease cap here, and then we'll get to the castle nut on the inside, and then we can take off the hub and start inspecting stuff. To take the dust cap off, sometimes you can take a screwdriver and sneak it behind here and pry it off. Sometimes it's real close, like in this case, the way it should be. Try to take a hammer or screwdriver in or a punch tool, whatever you have, and try to get in behind it. If it's real tight, you can't do it, then you just simply have to just tap it from the sides a few times. Kind of help break it loose. And then just keep going at it. There you go. Depending on the condition you have it, when you finally get it off, it might be just worthwhile just to bang it off and just get a new set. You want to clean off as much of the grease you can on the outside. Some hubs will have a, a cotter pin that goes through the center and you bend it back, pull it through and pull the washer off. Or on some easy loop spindles, you'll have what's called a tang washer, which kind of slides in behind the nut and there's a little tab that comes up and flips up. But there's a third type like this one here, basically the nut has like a cage going around it and that just simply just pries off. And the way that little cage works is it sits on this flat part of the spindle so it can't turn thus the nut can't come off either. And we can just simply unscrew the nut. And at this point we can actually just slide off the whole hub assembly. Taking a look at the brakes here, first off you want to check the thickness of the brake shoes here. Once they get down to about 1 8 of an inch, 16 of an inch, chances are then you want to go ahead and change them out. These look like they're pretty decent, more just have a little bit of rust coating, they could just be cleaned off and that's about it. On the magnet, this actually rides against the inside of the hub. The magnet actually rides in this polished part right here. It just rides, it just constantly does it, that's what it's supposed to do. And when it gets energized, the magnet sticks to this spinning hub here. That's actually how it makes it work. But the magnet is designed to wear down over time, just like the brake shoes. And then the magnet here itself has to wear down. If you look closely, you may be able to see some fine lines. It looks like wires, a real fine hair like wires going through there. When you start seeing that, that's when it's time to replace the magnet. In this case, we don't have that. So it looks like everything was just wearing like it's supposed to. So we've seen to really just, on this hub, just clean it up and repack the bearings. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and clean up the brake pads and the magnet a little bit with some brake parts cleaner. You can buy this at the local auto parts store. Just douse it down really good and just wipe it clean and that's all it takes. You can actually use this on the greasy parts too to clean it off. Also, one other thing you might want to check out is make sure the shoes can float around pretty freely in here because they have to expand a little bit, like so, with the magnets. And then you can bang it with your hands reasonably easily, then you're okay. If it's real hard to do, chances are it kind of rusted together, and then you may want to just take it apart a little bit and just dab, either clean it up or dab just, just a very tiny bit of grease in the moving parts. Since we got our spindle clean, we'll show you a couple things about that, what to look for. As you can see here, there's like a line going over here. That's actually where the bearing's been sitting. As long as it doesn't cut into the spindle itself, you can check with your finger if it catches, then the bearing's been put under too much load or a shock or something, then the spindle's been damaged. Chances are you're probably looking to replace the spindle at that point. The same thing applies for back here too. Just run your finger around it, double check, see if you can catch anything. Sure enough, if you can't catch anything, it's gonna be fine. And then back here, on the shoulder, this is, if you see a little black line, that's uh, where the actual seal itself rides on the spindle. That keeps the grease from going out back. And you can tell that actually the rubber over time will actually wear a fine finish on the seal. And occasionally you have to replace those also. What about the spindle, if you see the zerk fitting on the end here, this is what's called an easy loop spindle. What happens is when you put your grease gun on the end here, it shoots grease all the way down the middle here, and then it comes out to this hole on the side. The grease comes out this hole, and this hole is actually between where the bearing rides and where the seal rides. So between that whole cavity there, this fills up with grease. And once it gets filled up with grease, it actually packs itself through the bearing on the way back out, eventually through this bearing, and then out the end around it, around it here. So it's really nice. So when you reassemble this, what we'll do is we'll just lightly grease the bearings themselves, 
and then we'll assemble it and then we'll pack our grease through here and it'll actually self pack itself. Now what we need to do is remove this old seal here and there's a couple of different ways of doing it. Uh, one way is simply flipping the hub upside down, taking a wooden dowel and going through the inside and basically beating the bearing from the inside out, pushing the seal out with it. Sometimes you can get away with it, but you run a bigger risk of actually damaging the bearing when you do it that way. And what we'll do is we'll actually work our way around it to get an opening and we can pry this up. There are special tools for that, but most do-it-yourselfers will actually just use a maybe a punch or a screwdriver like we'll do it here and just show you how you can do it with some simple tools. There you go. And there we have our bearing out. We're going to show you a couple things on inspecting bearings. Uh, one thing you can see right off the bat, this is a nice clean bearing right here. It's been used. And then this is the outside bearing. This actually came off the same hub. And you could tell that the outside bearing actually got a little hot uh, or might have had too much pressure or weighed down at one time. But you can tell that the discoloration, when you see something like that, the chances are that it's been through a lot of stress and basically you probably want to replace both sets of bearings.